Mr. Speaker. Marama Davidson. Kia ora, tēnā koe, Mr. Speaker. Uh, huri noa ki tēnei whare, tēnā koutou katoa. Uh, Mr. Speaker, yes, Māori have always known that whenua literally is life. Uh, whenua is also placenta. Uh, whenua is the word for land and is also the word for placenta. When Māori babies are born, indeed when all of my babies were born, we return the whenua to the whenua. Such is the inherent link that we maintain through whakapapa, uh, through wairua, through tūpuna, through rangatira. Um, it absolutely, whenua absolutely is our taonga tuku iho. So this is incredibly important then. Any law regarding ture whenua, any law regarding whenua Māori is incredibly important, too important to get any part of it wrong. Māori land and the rules that govern it are too important to get wrong. And for long, the Green Party also acknowledges that we have had problems starting right back with our land, starting right back with the huge amount we lost nearly all of it through confiscation, through straight out theft, through administration means and through law. So it should come as no surprise then to this House that there is also widespread concern from Māori for Ture Whenua law. That should come as no surprise. I do acknowledge uh, Minister Finlayson getting, his, uh, <clears throat> getting quite upset over any opposition. Why? Why is he upset that there are any concerns over this law, regardless of whether they come from the opposition? But actually, they're also coming from our ordinary Māori. Why should we be surprised at that? For far too long, we have been done over in our whenua by many means, by straight up, straight up theft and by administrative and legal means. So we have to take concerns seriously and not dismiss them as party politics and not dismiss them as raging up uh, conspiracy theories. We cannot do that to our people. We cannot do that to our people. And for that reason, the Green Party will not be supporting this. We are opposing this to select committee. And I stand here strongly as a Māori Affairs spokesperson to talk about us opposing this bill to select committee, Mr Chair. I, will, I want to talk about the opposition again. Yes, the, treat, uh, the Waitangi Tribunal itself uh, did not did not consider the consultation efficient enough. Now, I just want to stop there. The indicator of good consultation should have nothing to do with how many meetings were held there and for how long. The indicator of proper consultation is whether or not our Māori have broadly and collectively understood absolutely what is going on with reform. That is the measure of proper consultation. So again, I don't want to be told about how many meetings were held where and how long we've had to look at a piece of bill. I want to hear that Māori have broadly and collectively understood what is being proposed for our land, for our precious last bit of land that is left. And for that reason, again, we cannot support this bill to select committee. Yes, the, the point of these reforms were supposed to address the underutilisation of Māori land. Again, the tribunal, the Waitangi Tribunal even agreed that there has not been the proper research, the research by observation and experience to determine exactly what the barriers are to land use. That research was not done. Why would we rush ahead with reforms when we are not clear what the very barriers to land use actually are?
and not just research, research by observation and experience to tell us what those barriers are. We know very well what one of the main barriers are. It's development funding. It is development funding. And the amount of development funding currently proposed in this reform, as my Labour colleague Calvin Davis said, is a packet of corn seeds for each hectare or so. The Green Party has policies that are simple and clear that address this part of underutilisation of land. That's actually a simple reform, just that alone. Just investing in that in development funding alone would remove a barrier without this controversial reform that is before us in the House right now. So, so Mr Speaker, Mr Chair, there are clear principles that the Green Party agree need to be upheld as we take any land, land reform law forward. Um, it needs to be absolutely driven by Māori. I agree with the Tribunal that it wasn't Crown driving all of this change, but it certainly wasn't all Māori driving this change, and I think we need to be very clear about that. The Tribunal has even said and agreed that it is, this is not solely being driven collectively by Māori. That in itself should put the brakes on any reform. There is a whakapapa, yes, Māori have long been demanding uh, an easing up of admin for our land use and so forth, so that we can retain mana motuhake over what we do. Absolutely. But those, the whakapapa of that starts to get a little bit muddy when we see at some point the Crown started having too much to do in there about driving those. So I want to know, I want to be guaranteed that Māori way back asking for reforms wasn't then picked up and exploited by the Crown to drive some changes. So, oh look, Māori are wanting changes. Let's do this as well. I want to be guaranteed that that is not what is happening. Not even the tribunal is clear that that is not, that it needs to be solely driven by Māori. My last, well, I've got concerns, but one of the other concerns I wanted to raise today was the Māori Land Service. It is a critical aspect of this reform, but it is not included in the bill. The details of it are unclear. How can we put something before the House, something as critical as the Māori Land Service, when we know too little about it? The Green Party agrees with the Waitangi Tribunal that we cannot advance any reform, any law reform, while something so critical to the running of this legislation has details which are unclear. The work on this hasn't been done yet, and that is clear. And so the Green Party cannot support this reform uh, in light of such a critical aspect of the bill yet to be done. Mr Chair, again, we would support and the Green Party policies absolutely uphold the vision for Māori to maintain mana motuhake over our land. It needs to be driven by Māori, and the concerns need to be taken seriously. We have a right to be concerned about any law reform. We have historically uh, been validated in our concerns about any law reform. So yes, mana motuhake for Māori land, not this bill at this stage. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Kia ora. Mr Speaker.